everyone. I just wanted to share with you um, another journal that I've made. Um, this one is in the Paris Rose collection papers from the From Dreams Etc. on Etsy. And um, they're just really beautiful um, papers. Um, nice and shabby chic. Um, that's the back cover and the front cover here. The um, closure is tea dyed clean binding and um, I've put some lace down the spine. Um, the, the, the book has three signatures and there and I've hand stitched all of them into the sign and the pages in this one um, instead of coffee dyeing this time I did some tea dyeing because um, I really love the, the colour of the tea as opposed to the coffee it's got kind of more of a warm orangish colour to it um, but that's just per personal preference on the front here I've put a cute little um, bookmark, this is like a set of clips on like this, so I can use that and I'll just do a quick flip through, that's done all the papers inside and then I've put some little Caesar papers of tea dyed. Um, some little paper bags with little um, tags inside, little pockets there. Um, some of these papers are also, I think these two and this one are from, um, they're from the Life of, Life of Bloom collection from Tsunami Rose on Etsy. I just had a few of those so I included some of that collection as well. She's got some beautiful collections too. I'll just take those out for a second. These papers are tea dyed papers. I um, just made a little booklet there. And some of them I've actually, like this one, I um, that's not actually tea dyed, that's a tea dye um, distress ink that I've put around the edge of the pages. And then some craft cardstock. And this paper here is actually drawing paper. So I've included some of that. This one here is from Shabby Chic collection from Ephemeris Vintage Garden and I'll put all the links below the video to where the papers are from. Some more drawing papers, a bit of pocket, another little um, tea dyed um, journaling slot from, this one's from the Shabby Sheep collection. And then I've got some envelopes with um, just put little cards, journaling cards or um, photo mats, whatever you want to use them for. This is these are both from the Paris Rose collection. Um, I haven't quite finished because I'm going to put a little closure onto the envelopes as well. Um, not quite sure yet. They might be magnetic, or I might just do a little tie closure with some brad saw buttons and these papers in here are ink with tea dye ink and you can see I've um, hand stitched it there with some cotton string another page from the Paris Rose collection uh, this is a pocket And it's got a journaling card from uh, this one is from 
So we'll have the bloom for the Melanie Rose and our um, tea dye inked the other side. And we'll just keep flicking through. There's more drawing paper. Um, some more. Um, this is a little pocket. There's a pocket here. But I've made this little envelope that comes with the Life of Bloom collection. It's a cute little envelope you can print out and stick together and I've put a little tag in there from Paris Rose sorry about the lighting on this video it's um, evening here and the light's not very good in here little pocket there um, Another little page from the Shabby Chic collection from the Vent uh, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Some more drawing paper, little tag, craft cardstock, some more tea dyed papers. We are tea dyed here. And another little pocket um, from a paper bag. So I've put two little cards inside each one of these. There's three of these throughout the book. And the Paris Rose papers. Another little um, pocket, paper bag pocket, little tag. Some more tea dye. Craft cardstock, some more drawing paper in case you want to do some drawing or some art journaling that you can use it however you like, obviously. Um, this is a really nice tag from the Shabby Sheep collection from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. And I'll just tea dye the back. We have another envelope. Died and folded it to make a little booklet. Shabby sheet paper. Another pocket here with some little tea dyed tags. Some more drawing paper. Some more card tea dyed papers. Here's another one of those little pockets with the two tags inside. And there's a couple more pages from the Paris Rose collection. These are really beautiful. Another little pocket with little tags. Two dyed paper. Another pocket. There's another nice little um, paper from the Shabby Sheet collection. And I'll just tee dye the back of that one as well. I haven't added a lot of embellishments to this one. Um, I think the papers just look beautiful on their own and I just wanted to keep it fairly simple so that you can do lots of writing and sticking little things inside or whatever you wanted to do. So there's lots of writing space, little um, space there. And inside you can put photos or whatever you like. And I've tea dyed those as well. Another page from the Paris Rose. Another pocket. And this one's got a couple of tea dyed tags in there as well. A couple of tags. 
tags here and in this pocket all star is drawing paper and art paper some more cardstock tea dyed papers a couple more little um, cards in there and let's see back of the book with more of the Paris Rose patches and I really love this one I was thinking about keeping it myself but I think I will put it in my Etsy shop so I'll put a link below um, so that's that's my latest one and um, I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you in the next one thank you bye